Unless... Yeah, we'll do it. Y'all doing all right? All the best now. Bye now. <clears throat> Mister? Hello. Hey, partner. Out of the way. Apologies. Hello, gentlemen. Je vous salue. A fine night of de debauchery. I remember this now. So you just sat there all night? I guess. Oh, there you are, my dear boy. Yes, we're going on the boat or ship, boat, well, whatever it is. Going to need to get you smartened up a bit. I guess it would be wow. sort of boat. Well, you can't play at the tables on a I hate boat poker. Like this. Not I just like the shooting portion of the show. Well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Hello, can I help you, gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Excellent. Well, you'll find all my inventory in the catalog here. Make this gentleman look like the Duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. Oh, it's good? Or er, it's good. It's free? You can see the aristocrat. Look at my hat. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. Hmm. I hope so. Come on. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Up my dear hick friend here. This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not that they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. There we go. Cool. There, very smart. Come on, let's get to the docks. I've arranged some transportation for us. George, to the Grand Gorgon, please. Grand Gorgon, sir. Well. Look at you! From Toad to Prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't winny up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Okay. Money to burn. Which reminds me. No shuffling and mumbling. 
Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't ham. So, who's a mark? Are you all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made hmm. a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting, it's not even. He's just. Him, oh, whatever. How does he know what cards I got? He won't. But that's the a horse note to turn. He's not really like a very good doing of much. Another one. Motion with his hands. Martha, we're all the authors of our good oh, whatever. Fortune. It's a video game. Make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? Indeed. Indeed, indeed. And what money am I playing? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting for you. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. They are searchers when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen! How wonderful to see you, Arthur. You remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, Jim. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and can I get my hat? than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, Jim. Guess not. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. I don't have any. Good time. The tables await. I know. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time. But don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now, where can I get a cocktail? Hey there, partner. Monsieur? Hello, mister. Got any idea what time it is? Good luck if you're playing. Yeah, no tonight, problem. Sir. Take care now. Hey there. How do you do? You know what? Welcome I'm aboard, feeling sir. good today. I'm glad to hear it. Anyway, sorry, you don't need to know this. And goodbye, then. Hi there, mister. Are you joining us? Hey, friend. Howdy, mister. You sure run into some nice folks out We have a chair way. here with your name Perfect. on it, sir. All the best to you. Take it easy. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Hey, Desmond Blythe. Evening. Nah. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. Hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at I'm not, this. I'm Chips not good at this. Stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fared? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life, now where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not. Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hello, my ladies. Not good at this. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. 
Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Mm. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting in a hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Raise. Call. Sorry to do this to you, but I have no choice. All in. Nah, I'm folding. <laughs> I'm sorry, my friend. I thought you was a player. I don't know how to time to waste on fools and cowards. I don't know how to play this. What? I guess don't fold. Do I at least get my money back. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. I tried playing poker once, and I just couldn't get into it. You know, I thought about getting into hosiery, but... I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Uh, I don't know. Sorry to do this to you, but I have no choice. All in. Call. Interesting. There it I don't even care at this point. Just... Shit. Oh, I won? Shit. Really? I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. But I don't even know what I just did. Uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning... I heard, well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why, I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play, as you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation heads up in New Hanover. Let's not waste any more time here. All in. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Well... Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pear cakes. Very hmm. good, but not good enough. Shit. Hmm. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blind. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace-high diamond flush. God damn you! To no offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but um, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please, cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Hi there. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but you know, hmm. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next. We'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. I 
think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? Looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up. As Why would you let him? Can cannon <laughs> off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I'd give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> In the time of my life. <laughs> you boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> Ah, look, there's your friend. My friend is not a no good cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. <laughs> there he is. Now, oh, don't be a sore loser, friend. Something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about <laughs> you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. Oh. <laughs> Right? Please tell me you got the money. Oh, do something. Oh, get the hell out of here. Oh, how do you suggest? I don't know. This ain't my shit. Silly me. I clean forgot to bring my. Oh. Is this where we set the horses free, I think? Well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? Oh, what did GameStop announce? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. No, I don't care and about that. This watch. Uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss. Uh, Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a right lingo, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. <laughs> all right, come on, let's get out of here.
Okay. show if that's possible it's a free show what's this show then mr. Charles Chatternay go and see for yourself but don't blame me morning I just don't like how much time you're spending with the man is all just wait until you see his work it's very progressive well I'm not so very sure how I feel hey ma'am otherwise I think that it's great I can't seem to catch a break today Maybe that's a good thing. Hold, hold on. Let me compose myself. Could be rolling. Good morning. Okay. Just wish today was over Welcome. already. Modern for my tastes. Good morning, ma'am. Shut him, hey. Morning, dear. He's just a terror. It's making me blush. I find the... Brushwork, baffling. What's he? Look at these idiots. Not you. Excuse me, Mr. <coughs> Chatternay. Couldn't you have painted some drawers on her? Madame, I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes of civilization, repression, death. Well, you're wearing clothes to too. Make it is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> well, that explains the decadence of those Hottentots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here. In her delicate. <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? Well, well, why would you be showing it to that man? That's my mama. <gasps> as nude as the day she was born. Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. Mm -hmm. Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe yeah. she shouldn't expose herself like that. This is disgusting. The nerve on you. That's it. Oh, oh, come on, Mildred. This is no place for us. Come here, son of a bitch. You filthy little man. Oh. <laughs> oh. Come on, horse. We'll leave it. Hey, I'm coming after you, Frenchie. Hey. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and truly over, let's get out of here. Come on, I know a place where I can disappear for a few days. This way, this way, come on. I think we are okay. The exhibition, what can you say? It was not boring. <laughs> that, it was not. To test people, push them. I thought I was a fraud, a no talent brush washer. Now I'm not sure. We provoke emotions, no? You keep provoking emotions like that, and all your canvases left punch holes through. I told you I was a full ass. <laughs> you did, and you are. Now maybe go be an asshole somewhere else for a while. Ah, I'm only joking with you. I know a lazy 
over here. She may let me stay for a while. Good luck. You're okay, girl. Hello, ma'am. Hello, sir. See a smile. Mm -hmm. Well, take care now. Howdy. How do you do? Oh. Let's see someone. Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. What did take I do to it you? Easy. I ain't serious. Just leave Hard me be. Take it easy. I'm just needling you. Well, it didn't mean nothing by it. Look out! I I Excuse me. Sorry about that. What do you hey, want? Hey, fellas. No, sir. All right, sweetie. Oh, shit. Bella? I never thought nobody would catch me with that Careful, bad lady. Careful, big man. How's things? Having some? I got shit luck, I tell you. That's good. Appear! Oh, Stop! I'm trying to... What the fuck? I don't even know. I was trying to buy a beer. No! Stop! I don't want him telling on me, so that's why I tied him up. What did I do to you? Hey, why is this happening? Hey there, mister. Hey. Good girl. How are you, ma'am? Damn shit! I gotta be. Have you got me? Yes. Do I know you, Mister? Well, American Fathers that. Part One. Yeah. That ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately, so, Mister. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, uh, to be clear, he he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, 
Can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great sure. powers of observation. Yes, my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. Mm. We've made peace treaties. And those treaties were broken. And we've been moved mm. and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly, contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, we will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago <laughs> who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man, I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, an appointment with the Senator. Okay. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. Oh. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting, I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Hey. Bonjour. You know when you have one of those days? Je chef well. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Au plaisir. Hey. Yeah.
Here we go. I found Dutch. Good morning, Art. Whoa, what happened there? Yeah, he's downstairs. Alright, see ya. I want to see if... Just hope that gang stays away from her now. Hi, Karen. Hey there. You seem in a good mood. I do. Well, anyway, don't let me spoil it. All right, then. There he is. Another gang. You ain't out of it again, are you? I'm fine. Could use a slug of whiskey in there. Just making sure you're all right. I suppose. Get some more supplies for the group. Oh, nice. Okay, cool.
Oh, wait. Yeah, oh, whatever. Actually, hold on. Oh, well, actually, no, never mind. Just go over here. How you doing, Mr. Sadler? How are you? Oh, horseman. Since, uh, Apocalypse. Since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. Mm. My lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well. I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now. Trolley bus station. <laughs> I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Well, anyway, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? Uh-oh. What the hell have they done to me? Look, there, the tree line. Everybody take cover! Or Driscoll boys are coming! Keep it there. Oh, okay, well, wait. Come on. Oh, now I have this gun? Bookcase, son! Get the door blocked! Arthur, move! 
Move that bookcase. Come on. Get those doors barricaded quick. Good. Now everyone I got this. Get these windows covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side doors there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go. Is everyone accounted for? I said, is everyone accounted for? I don't know. I think. Sadie, I gotta go help. Her. Cover me. Hey, we got us a lady over here. Hold on. Okay? I think so. Except for Karen here. Uh, uh. Poor kid. Mr. Swanson, could you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the box. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Como Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. <laughs> Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. New chapter? Maybe. He saved my life and I could not It's a bird. His. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Where are we now? Oh, we're still here.
Sun. Oh, let's go over there. What did I do? I didn't mean to do that. Sleep on the floor. So let's right outside of Valentine's see if I could. Oh, brother. Like coward <clears throat> to you. I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help them? Maybe. See, even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here to somewhere more conducive to this where we displays shoot of utter bottles off each other? And deep seated inadequacy well, what did you have in mind shoot a yep. bottle off my head like william tell this is getting silly very silly the man is a moron <laughs> shoot one off mine instead yeah, i'm the brave one i'm not scared uh, i'm a good shot but i won't even flinch i don't want to hurt you boys oh, i can't lose <laughs> Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <sighs> okay. Good shot, sir. I'm getting fat and high. <laughs> that was fun. What was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. <laughs> Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. Please. This creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. Ready? Aim. Nothing to fear. Now I'll stand on one leg. Me too. You keep shooting, sir. And this time you kill the beast. He emerged fully formed from the now stars. training. Ellen. Silence, you blackguard, sir. Shoot the wretch. Ready? You're deranged. Shoot away. Excellent. 
I'll do one while I hop. No. While I turn somersaults. Shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. No. All mankind. I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Oh, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering oh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Welcome. Got everything you need. Have a look. Keeping the peace. We need more like you. Bye now. Sure. Nasty individual. That one? They say she's sleeping rough near Cumberland Falls. What's more? I reckon it's time you were gone. What do you think? Okay. I ain't looking to cause problems. Don't come back too soon, neither. Sorry. Now I'll stop it now. I'm not gonna help a fella out. What's over here? Cook over here. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, you good, girl? Hey, mister. 
Oh boy. Good girl. Yep. Yeah. There's a girl. Hey, over here. Oh, I really need your help, friend. Again, I know. Listen, I know what this looks like, but uh, you got to help me out again. Mm. Now, come on, please. Again? Come on now. Just shoot the damn chains already. Come on. Please. There. Yes. Relax. Oh, yes. Again. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Thank you. I tell you, friend. I'm about more broke than last time, but, well, I heard something you might like. Well, some drunk's been hoarding his money in this little place south of Rhodes <laughs> down by the river. A lot of money and very drunk. At least that's right. what they say. Oh, I look like a thief. Something? Or something, maybe. I, I don't know. It doesn't matter to me. I'd keep out of sight a while. Seems like you're a prime target. You said it, friend. Come on, Apota.
second thoughts. Never mind. All right, where's this person? This is uh, very kind of you. Don't you manhandle me. <laughs> We're going for a walk. Come on, horse, opponent. Let's let her talk. Maybe if I had a strong man like you, I wouldn't be in this mess. My men folk, they all been weak. That's what my problem's been. How I got in this unfortunate situation. But a big strong man like you, you'd set me straight. Wouldn't you, mister? Put me on the straight and narrow? Shut up. This the help you're looking for? That's it. You good. Are uh, you okay? There. You alright? That's it. Sorry. We're coming up on the jailhouse. Anything else you want to try on me? Just get me there. You're no fun at all. I'm afraid I ain't. 
You order a lady killer here, Sheriff? <laughs> yeah, we did. Put her in the cell, won't you? What happens if you bring the wrong person? I don't know. My innocence. She might be a little shaken up. She lost another feather out by the fall. Poor dear. Men just got a habit of dying around you, don't they, Mrs. Swan? I hope you'll be comfortable, miss. She'll be fine. Now come get your money off the desk here. Thank you. The black widow herself. This town's so starved of women. I'm sure she could find herself a husband. Now that's cowboys for you. Indeed. that hey mister whoa you got a problem hey there. Ah. ow just get out of my way okay there hello there. all right girl you done good girl yeah There, I guess. Yeah, that's my girl. Go. Okay. You came. Of course I came. Said I would. There's a four. American there. Fathers His Part name Two. Is Danbury. It's the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? I could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'm gonna take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Hey, Tom? Picking up? Yep. Supposed to meet the early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then.
Oh, it's me. All right, I'm gonna start loading up. Alright, let's not do that then. Some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file from head office. You're not from head office. Does that seem important right now? No. I need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti. I. is a terrible thing to lose, especially over such a nice floor as this. It's here! It's here! Good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. No, nope. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Our head office will send me back to get you. Hold it right there! 
Ah, oh, great. On the ground and hands in the air. Easy now, fellas. Now, we won't tell you again. You're done. I'm going to walk in. You don't know what you got to tell me. Shit. Documents. Yeah, but we need to get the hell out of here. Follow me. Hey. They're coming after us. I don't even see them. Oh, they're there. Just in time. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliged. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were going to enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Hmm. Here's your money. Thank you. Thank you. Do one more mission. Well, actually, I don't know. Let's at least fast travel back there or something. Let's go back home. Yeah, there's a girl. Wait a minute. Let's, we'll go there. So I want to see what that's about. There. Probably just some Uncharted 4 later today. What? Why are you going the... I'll see what this mission's about. I'll be right over. Madam. You're that trouble, my friend. You you ain't welcome here. Listen, 
You won't get no trouble out of me. Uh huh. So, don't worry. You just I'll left. You all right? <coughs> Happy to help you start over. See. Eighteen ninety nine, Montsia de Kigor. It was lovely to make your acquaintance at the residence the other night. You meet so many people at these kinds of functions. It is hard to keep track. I did notice, however, that you were near my study when poor Pierre had an accident and some documents simply disappeared. Now, I have spent far too long in politics to make accusations wildly. But just long enough to know when I am owed a small favor, perhaps you're... Kung Ho frontier spirit and my cold old world cynicism could work quite well together. Indulge me in a meeting at least. Come to the back. Come to the back of the May mayoral re residence any night you wish. Knock on the door, and my assistant, John Mark, will lead let you in. I hope to see you soon. Your newest friend, Henry Lemieux. Yeah, okay, I don't care. We'll check that out. Not now. Alright, now we'll, I guess we'll go back home. Actually, hold on. We'll travel to St. Denis. Yeah, we could just take a train then. Oh, hello again. Enjoy your destination. Mm -hmm. And then I'll probably end the stream. I don't think I'll be. I don't know if I'll be streaming tomorrow. Probably not. I close. Typically, when I close at work, I don't stream. Just because I'm going to do 10 hour shifts. Do need to upload a video on my second channel on YouTube. So I'll do that after I end this in a few minutes. Or, well, now actually, but. Anyway, um, I'm gonna set a marker just for next time. Oh, it's right here. I'll still set a marker. Alright guys. Hey mister. Good morning to you. Good to see manners ain't dead yet. Huh? Oh. You enjoy it? Have a blessed day. Alright, yep. That is going to be it for Red Dead Redemption 2 right now. Be back later. Probably going to do some Uncharted 4, A Thieves' End. Uh, I kind of want to get back to that. Anyway, I'm not sure why the screen was flickering, but I will see you guys.